Well, the month of April brought multiple destructive tornado outbreaks across large swaths of the country. While the spring months are when most tornadoes typically occur in the U.S., could climate change be impacting these severe weather events? ABC's chief of climate correspondent Ginger Z reports. Spring is typical tornado season, and April is the third busiest month for tornadoes across the U.S. But this April, we had multiple tornado outbreaks, more than 280 tornadoes. That's the second most since records began in 1950. There are more cameras capturing more tornadoes, but does climate change really have anything to do with this? When it comes to tornadoes, the answer is not simple. At every location, tornadoes are rare events, and we, we tend to want to find patterns as human beings because that's a, that's a good thing. But we also can find patterns when there really isn't anything there. But climate science is beginning to identify potential trends, including shifts in the number of days with tornadoes and where they're happening. We have fewer days now which a tornado occurs in the United States, but more days when there are a lot of tornadoes. An analysis from Climate Central shows that since 1979, the number of days that are favorable for tornadoes has gone up in states like Tennessee and Mississippi, and it's gone down for much of Oklahoma and Texas. These seemingly small shifts can have a big influence on impacts. One of the big differences between the Mid-South and the Plains is rural population density. A lot more people live in rural areas in, say, Mississippi and Alabama than live in western Kansas and western Oklahoma. While there is still a lot to learn about how our changing climate could be impacting tornadoes, we know that being prepared and heeding warnings is what saves lives. With this Climate Minute, I'm Ginger Z.